De Minutes nummer 1453 met een uitzending voor vandaag 28 oktober 2018. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. Today's bulletin will be completely in English. Vandaag in de Daily Minutes in het Engels integraal het RSGB bulletin met amateurnieuws en bovenal het propagatiebulletin op het laatst. Het is in de versie van de RSGB die van TX Factor is nog niet beschikbaar. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It's read to you as usual by G4NJH. The script of this broadcast is available on the RSGB's own website and at gb2rs.podbean.com. This is GB2RS News. Good morning. It's Sunday the 28th of October 2018. Here are the main news headlines. NRC opening seven days a week. Register for GB18, IOTA. Contesting consultation ends. The RSGB is pleased to announce that the RSGB's National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park will now be open for seven days a week starting this week. Thanks to all the volunteers that make this possible, RSGB members can download a free admission voucher to Bletchley Park from the RSGB website. Last call for applications to host GB18 IOTA during IOTA month this December has been extended to Sunday the 4th of November. Clubs, groups and individuals from all over the country are invited to set up stations and host the call sign over the 31 days of December. Please see rsgb.org forward slash yota, that's y-o-t-a hyphen month, for further information and application details. The RSGB VHF contest consultation closes at midnight tonight, the 29th of October. Go to www.surveymonkey.co.uk forward slash r forward slash vhfcc figures 2018 to take part in the survey. International delegates were pleased to learn that an amateur radio on the International Space Station plan is under consideration by NASA's Deep Space Gateway program. NASA Gateway Utilization Manager informed those attending the annual ARIS International in-person meeting, whatever that is, that ARIS is the only non-commercial entity whose ideas are under study by the program. The ARIS plan focuses on amateur radio communication, including optical communication channels, as well as equipment development, team cooperation, education and public outreach. Mexico's IARU member society is asking amateur radio to, uh, operators to avoid 7.060, 7.130 and 14.120 MHz where hurricane emergency nets are operating in Spanish. Mexico's national emergency net activated the nets earlier this week. Also, Storm 2, U2 is said to be the strongest storm on record to hit the North Mariana Islands close to about 55,000 people. Four ARRL HF VHF ham aid kits in Guam are available for use in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Another seven kits are positioned in Hawaii. Radio amateurs in Guam and Hawaii are, t- are attempting to get in touch with amateurs who can assist in on Saipan. Amateur radio teams that had planned to operate in the CQ Worldwide DXSSB context, f- contest from Saipan this weekend have cancelled their trips. U-Cube 1, the UK Space Agency's first CubeSat, was launched into space in July 2014, completed its successful nominal mission 14 months later in September 2015. Since that date, the FunCube-based payload has continued to provide a transponder for use by amateur radio and additionally 30-plus channels of real-time telemetry for STEM outreach and for use by schools and colleges. These downlinks have operated continuously on the 145 megs band and more than 450 stations have supported this ongoing activity. They have uplinked the telemetry data to the FunCube data warehouse where it's stored and available for research. Just before midnight on Thursday the 18th of October the warehouse received a, a data frame from KB6LTY in California. This is the last record of signals being received from the spacecraft and since that date careful observations have failed to detect any signals from either of the transmitters carried by the spacecraft. 
an early analysis of the last telemetry received has not shown any obvious uh, uh, anomalies, but this work continues. Uh, although it's obviously sad for both the amateur and educational worlds to lose such a valuable resource, both AO73 Fun Cube 1 and EO88 Naif 1 continue to operate nominally, and JY1 SAT and ESEO are expected to launch before the end of 2018. Two lectures from the RSGB's 2018 convention are now available for RSGB members to view on the RSGB website. Neil Smith, G4DBN, speaks on FT8 performance secrets and William Eustace, M0WJE, on microwave engineering, from death rays to dinner. That's the title. These join a wide set selection of videos on the RSGB website. Go to rsgb.org forward slash videos, then select RSGB Convention Lectures. Now for details of rallies and events in the coming week, on the 3rd of November, the Veron Ham Radio Convention takes place in the Netherlands, open from 9.30am to 5pm. Entry is €9, Euros and on-site car parking is €5. Euros. Full details in English can be found at https 2dvdravernl forward slash English forward slash visitors. The West London Radio and Electronics Show, otherwise known as the Kempton Rally, that was scheduled for the 4th of November, has been cancelled. The Bush Valley Amateur Radio Club annual radio rally takes place on the 4th of November at the United Services Club 8 Row Mill Road, M- M- uh, Lima Vadi in County Londonderry, BT 499DF, doors open 11am to 4pm, disabled visitors gaining access at 10.50am, admittance is £3. There will be an auction, trade stands, bring and buy, RSGB book st- stall and special interest groups. A talking station will be on the air. Catering is available on site. Contact Jason Smith, MI3UIW, 7793 for more details. To get your event into RADCOM and, RSG and uh, GB2RS, please send details as early as possible to RADCOM at rsgb.org.uk. And we need to know at least three to four months in advance if you want to get your information into RADCOM. Now the DX News from 425DX News and other sources. Janusz SP9FIH will be active again as E44WE from Palestine until the 11th of November, including a single band entry on 20 metres in the CQWWDX SSB contest. He'll operate SSB, some Ritty and FT8 on the 2017 and 15 metre bands and possibly on 160 metres. QSL via logbook uh, via Club Logs OQRS or via his own call sign. Lee DS4NMJ is active as DTA-TA from the King Sijon station on King George Island, South Shetlands. I owe to reference AN010 from the, <coughs> until rather, the 18th of December. He operates 58 at CW. SSB on 40, 20, 17, 15 and 12 metre bands. QSL via HL2FDW and Logbook of the World. Peter DCO, DC0KK will be active as Force Sierra 7 uh, Kilo Kilo Golf from Sri Lanka, that's ASO03, from the 1st of November to the 1st of April 2019. He operates mostly CW and digital modes, QSL via Home Call, Direct or Bureau, and Logbook of the World, OQRS or On Club Log. Madhu, VU3NPI, and others will be active as AT4DK from Pamban Island, AS173, on the 3rd and 4th of November. The team plans to operate SSB, CW and FT8 on the 80 to 10 metre bands QSL via the operator's instruction. Now for special event news, HMS Belfast Radio Group has obtained the special call sign GB100ARM to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the armistice that ended fighting in World War One on the 11th of November 1918. The call sign will be active from the 1st to the 28th of November from the Bridge Wireless Office on board HMS Belfast. QSL details on qrz.com or via the group's QSL manager, Mark Lichman, G0TOC, email g0toc at gb2rn.org.uk. 
During the month of November, Chippenham and District ARC will be active with the special call sign GB1WWI to commemorate the ending of World War One. Activity will take place from Chippenham and District ARC's new QTH at Kington Langley Village Hall. Special call sign TM5PAX will be active on all modes and bands until the 11th of November for the 100th anniversary of the armistice. QSL via Fox 5 Japan Sierra Quebec, Logbook of the World and EQSL. Commemorating the 100th anniversary of the battle that marked the end of World War I on the Italian front, II3BVV will be on the air till the 4th of November. Main activity 80, 40 and 20 metre bands, SSB, CW and digital. All QSLs confirmed automatically via the Bureau at EQSL. We're very happy to have publicised your event on GB2RS Radcom or the website. Please send details to radcom at rsgb.org.uk as early as possible. And one condition for getting UK special event call signs is that the station must be open to the public, so free publicity from us can help to make your efforts more widely known. Contest New CQ Worldwide DX SSB Contents ends its 24-hour run at 23.59 UTC today the 28th. Using the 1.8 to 28 megs contest bands, the exchange is signal report in your zone, which for us in the UK is 14. On Wednesday, the UK EI contest 80 metre event runs from 2000 to 2100 UTC using CW only. Exchange your four character locator, for example, IO85. Next weekend, it's the Marconi CW contest on 2 metres, 1400 UTC on the 3rd to uh, the same time on the 4th. Using the 144 megs band only, the exchange of signal report serial number and locator. Now the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYAG3YLAG4BAO. We're blessed, we were blessed with quieter geomagnetic conditions this week, and despite the solar flux only being around 70, a more settled ionosphere meant there was DX to be had. The 6Gs. VK9XG, the expedition to Christmas Island off the northwest of Australia, has been worked on many bands from the UK, including 160 and 80, as well as RITI, SSB and CW. It's also running FT8 as the primary mode in Fox and Hound configuration, so there's a chance of a contact for lesser equipped stations also. VP6D on Ducey Island, east of Pitcairn, is also available, is also active, and it too is using FT8 as well as, uh, well as other modes. So generally HF conditions have been better this week, helped too by the more advantageous um, autumnal conditions. Next week, NOAA predicts the solar flux index will be pegged at 68. Geomagnetic conditions may be unsettled on Monday the 29th due to a small coronal hole, but the rest of the week should be better, <coughs> with a, K, a maximum K of 2. So make the most of the better conditions as the prediction is that we are in for a geomagnetic disturbance across the weekend of the 3rd of November and into the beginning of the following week due to a recurrent coronal hole activity on the Sun. This is likely to be due to the return of a coronal hole that pushed the K-index up to 5 on the 7th of October and which has taken about 27 days to rotate back into view. And don't forget that this weekend is the SSB leg of the CQ Worldwide Contest when there'll be many high-powered and well-equipped stations on the band. And don't forget that this weekend is the SSB leg of the CQ Worldwide Contest and there'll be many high-powered and well-equipped stations on the band. Now for VHF and up-propagation, after some very good tropo for those in the south and west of the UK last week, the weather is changing. British summertime has ended and we see a cold northerly airstream flooding down across the country. This is also a signal that the high pressure sig system and the tropper of last week are gone, now replaced by windy showery type weather. In terms of propagation weather, there could be some useful rain scatter on the microwave bands as heavy showers develop in some coastal regions. Some models do suggest there may be a hint of high pressure later in the week but it's not looking like a very strong contender. Tropo chances could improve, though, as the week progresses. Whilst it'll be a quiet week for weather-related propagation, there's always aircraft scatter on the microwave band to keep the DX interesting. The Digimode G JT9F Fast seems to be best for these bands if Fast CW or repetitive chanting call signs and reports on SSB is not your thing. The moon reaches maximum declination on Monday and perigee on Wednesday, with the lowest 
path losses meaning a good week for AME. There are no meteor showers this week, so look for the usual enhancement around local dawn for the best meteor scatter contacts, as our side of the Earth is rotating into the flux of meteoric particles. That's it from the propagation team this week. That's all from me also. Until next week. The word amateur. The word can mean a lack of skill, but it can also mean someone that does it simply for love of the activity, like in amateur sports. Ham radio people are amateurs in the best way. For over 70 years, they have provided emergency communications for free, bringing thousands of dollars of their own equipment, hundreds of people, and serving their communities all for free. The amateur radio emergency services are amateurs in the best sense of the word. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts boven aan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.a0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshop.nl. 70 mhzshop.nl Laat jij wel eens een lange break? Jazeker, ik laat geregeld een lange break. En waarom doe je dat dan? Nou, dat de Echolink gebruikers ook een beetje lucht hebben. Ja, geef de Echolink gebruikers lucht. En microfoon naar retour.